Hello, this is Dr. McCall, and today we're going to talk about oxygen. You know, without oxygen, of course, we'd be dead in a few minutes. But it also has a dark side, and that is it can provide oxidative stresses to your body. And let me give you an illustration of that. It's oxidation is what occurs when you take an iron bar and you throw it in the ocean. You come back a few weeks or a few months later, you'll see it's rusted. And that's what oxidation is, does to our body. It does this internal rusting. So that's not a great thing, and many people believe that's one of the primary reasons why we age, so, or at least contributes to the aging factor. And one of the ways that our body is designed to protect against that is to make sure that we have plenty of antioxidants. And the ideal form of antioxidants is from the foods that you eat. And really one of the highest sources and concentrations would be in your vegetables. That's why you want to make sure you have plenty of vegetables, especially the green ones, and fresh, raw, organic, preferably locally grown, have hundreds if not thousands of different antioxidants that work synergistically to prevent this damage from your tissue, which can, which can also impair uh, and, just, and really seriously damage your DNA and your reproductive potential. So clearly you're going to want to make sure that that's a big component. Now, um, of course, we've all heard of the traditional uh, antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, CoQ10, uh, but one of the most exciting ones and really one of the ones that I'm absolutely just phenomenally uh, excited about is astaxanthin. And you may not have heard of it before, and it certainly sounds like a mouthful, but essentially this is a fat-soluble antioxidant that's extracted from marine algae. And this is actually what makes, gives salmon its pink color. And you may not realize, but baby flamingos are actually born white. And it's not until they start having astaxanthin that they turn into pink flamingos. So it's a really important component in, in part of the marine system. And why is it so exciting? Well, most of us are interested in the way we look, and astaxanthin has been shown to physically improve the appearance of your skin. And it will actually help prevent uh, age spots and uh, the appearance of wrinkles and even freckles. It's also phenomenally important, specifically because it's a fat-soluble supplement and vitamin to go, to go into your nervous system so it can help support your brain function and tissues that are associated with your, with your brain, like your vision. It's a really powerful support for your, for your vision and, uh, and also for your joint and your skeletal health. It's really shockingly effective here. Uh, and uh, you know I'm a big fan of exposing your skin to plenty of sun, especially in the summer. Uh, because you're going to increase your levels of vitamin D. And the downside of that, of course, is you can have photoaging and other sun-induced damage, and it's been shown to astaxanthin to help limit this protection, to help support your body to protect against that from happening. So it's really useful. And if you're interested in using exercises, we all should be, and if for using exercise to compete or perform at a very high level, then many professional uh, uh, and high highly competitive athletes have been using astaxanthin f with phenomenal benefits, so something you cer certainly want to consider. Now, just how potent is astaxanthin? Well, when you compare it with respect to its free radical scavenging capacity, it's 65 times stronger than vitamin C and 14 times stronger than, than vitamin E. But actually, there's another comp way that you can analyze its antioxidant capacity, and that is its singlet oxygen uh, quenching capacity, and when you look at that, it's actually 550 times stronger than vitamin E and 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C. So you can see it's incredibly potent, which is one of the reasons why it has such a powerful effect on your body. Now, if you're going to uh, use this as a supplement, there's, it's important to understand that you can get astaxanthin from three different sources. One is from the marine bioalgae, which is the preferred natural way to do that. But you can also get it from fungus or synthetics. And I would definitely discourage using the last two. So you want to make sure it's from marine algae. And then secondly, you want to look at the way it's extracted because it has to be removed from the algae. And the way it's, it can be done, this is several sources. One is it can be used with, with toxic sol solvents like hexane or, or, or some other uh, similarly toxic solvents. So you, do, you want to avoid that. You want, really want to use a, a highly efficient tox, toxin-free extraction process like supercritical carbon dioxide extraction. So you want to make sure that's part of the process. And then additionally, you want to look at the company that's producing it, making sure they're applying all the highest uh, quality standards so, so that, that there's uh, no 
uh, potential mistakes or problems that occur in the production. And, and lastly, astaxanthin, even though it's a power, powerful antioxidant, if oxygen is introduced into the manufacturing process, they can actually, actually damage it and limit its ability to do, do its work. So really, it's important to pay attention to the details. So if this is something you'd like to consider, strongly recommend it because I think it could be a really important tool to help you take control of your health.